In this morning's Health Watch, the battle against bed bugs, the EPA is now warning desperate homeowners not to use dangerous outdoor pesticides and other powerful chemicals indoors. Our own CBS News producer, Carl Leibowitz, was sent on assignment over the weekend. He came back with more than just a story. He joins us along with our Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Good morning, all. Good morning. Good morning. So, Carl, you're in Portland, Oregon, right? You're staying in a hotel. What night was it? Friday afternoon, I started to get these, like, I felt like there were, like, bites on, and I was thinking I got a mosquito bite, mm -hmm. and I just noticed there were three of them. And then later on, I started to notice up here right. on my shoulder, there were more bites. And sometime, I went out and got some Benadryl, took Benadryl, right. went to sleep, and then I woke up at 6.30 in the morning on Saturday morning. And when I woke up, I'm, like, got bites all over me, and I don't know, I turn on the light, and my pillow is covered in blood. Ma. And when I look down at the pillow, the pillow, there's blood everywhere. I feel on my head, there's all these bites. Right. And I start to freak out. I don't know what happened to me. So sure. So you head off to the emergency room. Just hold your hand still a second, because I want to get a camera close up there. Uh, Dr. Ashton's going to point out, that is a nasty bite. And you have 43 of them? 43 of them, all over my back, right. my shoulders, on my feet. Right. You go into the emergency room in Portland, what do they say? They said they're not sure if it's an allergic reaction or if it's a bed bug or right. a bite. Uh, so they're not sure what it is. Hmm. So they give me some prednisone. Right. And I, they tell me, it, you know, just, you know, go home. Right. I get on the plane. It's the most painful plane ride of my entire life right. all the way back to New York City. Because you're just itching. Itching all over. And right. she told, uh, the doctor said, don't scratch, because if you scratch, you're going to infect any. <laughs> you don't want to get any of the bugs. Whatever you do, don't, don't scratch. scratch. And all I feel like doing is scratching, and I right. could just want to like just tear my skin off. So you went off. back to the emergency room when you got to New York? Then. When I get to New York, I go back to the emergency room, because the ones over here are starting to turn into blisters. Oh, my And gosh. there's full of like pus. Right. So I'm like, I, I don't even know what's going on. And you walked in, and they said, oh, you have been. <laughs> And they say, they, immediately. they look immediately because right. they're in, they're, you can right. see there's one year, one there, one there. Right. They call it breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So they're three in a row. Right. So most of the bites on my body are all threes? threes. Oh, my gosh. So there's threes. And so they say it's... Is Carl's reaction to these bugs fairly typical? It is, Harry. And I think the really important point here, there's two critical things that Carl told us about mm -hmm. that people should remember. Number one, this is not subtle. Right. This is not one isolated bite because as disturbing as this image is, you have mm -hmm. to remember, there will not just be one bed bug. Right. Okay, there will be many bed mm -hmm. bugs, and they do tend to bite in clusters of three. Right. That's the first thing is there will be many. The second thing is, they're painful. Right. This isn't a little itch. They can really itch, and they everyone's different in terms of their reaction to any kind of bite. We know that, right, with mosquito bites. Right. But uh, they can be quite painful, so it's really not subtle. You know what? One of the other aspects of this has got to be psychological, because as this has grown in terms of news coverage, I was down in uh, down on the Gulf Coast. I got a couple of mosquito bites, but I the, immediately thought, I forgot bed, bed bugs. And I'm, you know, turning my room upside down and everything else. There is a psychological factor that, to this as well. Did it make you a little crazy? Well, it made me, when um, they told me that this was bed bugs, they had me at the emergency room, had me attached to a, um, a blood pressure machine, and right. my blood pressure just skyrocketed. It went to like 154 over like 111, and they right. were trying to bring it down, and they're like, relax. And at this point, I couldn't relax, because I was thinking, what do I have to throw away? And I'm thinking, like, it's all my clothes, I have to throw my clothes away, I have to start throwing like my suitcase away, like, where am I going, what am I going to do? And then right. they're telling me, like, they, you have to put them in an airtight bag, and I'm thinking, I don't know from airtight bags, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I don't know. A garbage gonna... bag that you really have to tie. Like, and you have to like, well. airtight, and I'm thinking yeah. to myself, I got bed bugs. I mean, like, they could be crawling on me. They did make so, you crazy. And when All I right. went home, I totally stripped naked outside of my apartment, mm -hmm. and then I ran into the shower and I threw right. my clothes away. Aww. And the neighbors <laughs> and the neighbors looked out and said, oh, he's got bed <laughs> bugs. Uh, <laughs> talk about this for a second, because people are going to want to take some of these outside pesticides and what have you, spread them around inside right. their house, because there's this giant push to say, we need stronger stuff sure. to fight bed bugs. And what's your word Not of caution Not a good idea, about Harry. You don't want to take matters into your own hands as desperate as you feel. You actually only want to use pesticides that say they are for bed bugs. It's really important. A lot of them can be toxic. If they're toxic for the bed bugs, they can be toxic for children, pets, and humans. Carl, thank you for your bravery, and thank you for your service to our broadcast. All right.